CSI has nothing on veterinary pathologists. In the summer of 1989, people who lived in New York were falling prey to a virus. It caused encephalitis, a swelling of the brain. Some were dying, mosquitoes were spreading the virus. But the nature of the virus was unknown. Crows were dying too. But health professionals who were working with the human cases did not believe that there was a connection. When dead crows started turning up on the grounds of the Bronx Zoo, the resident veterinary pathologist, Dr. Tracy McNamara, paid attention. It was her job to protect the zoo's wildlife. She dissected the dead birds and examined the tissue. What she discovered was encephalitis, the same disease that humans were catching. Then the zoo's birds began to die. Dr. McNamara's research convinced her that there must be a connection between the disease killing the birds and the one striking New Yorkers. She sent samples of the bird tissues to labs all over the country. Finally, scientists identified the culprit, West Nile virus. The same virus was affecting both birds and humans. Dr. McNamara's instincts and expertise paid off, but she had almost taken a different career path. I always wanted to be a vet ever since I was a kid, but was discouraged about going into veterinary medicine because uh, I wasn't very good at math. And it wasn't until I graduated from college and realized you can be as good as you want to be at anything if you put your heart into it. Um, I decided to go for it and stopped being a French major and went back to school and got into vet school. I chose to go into the area of uh, veterinary pathology because as someone who is interested in um, the well-being of captive and free-ranging wildlife, zoo animals and animals in Africa or anywhere else in the world, I, I felt that I could make the greatest contribution by investigating what it is that makes these animals sick. Um, you have to know what makes them sick or ill uh, if you want to keep them healthy, and that's basically what pathology is. It's the uh, recognition and understanding of disease because when the crows were dying and the zoo birds were dying and when people were dying of encephalitis, it took someone with a comparative veterinary education and a comparative approach to be able to connect all the dots and to be the medical detective that put it together. In doing so, make it possible to provide the best medical care to the animals we're concerned about.